Husky and the Squirrel, Comedy Central in the Backyard. The backyard is often a peaceful and serene place, where homeowners go to relax and enjoy nature. However, for one, for one, for Max's encounters with the neighborhood squirrel provide endless entertainment for both Max and the onlookers. Max, with his striking blue eyes and thick white and gray fur, is a playful and energetic husky. He loves exploring the outdoors and has an insatiable curiosity, which often leads him to discover amusing situations. One sunny afternoon, Max spotted a small gray squirrel scurrying through the trees. Intrigued, Max immediately set off on a mission to follow the squirrel and observe its behavior. Little did Max know that this squirrel was no ordinary squirrel. This squirrel, whom the neighbors had affectionately named Squeaky, was notorious for its mischievous antics and boundless energy. Squeaky's nimble movements and fearless demeanor proved to be a worthy match for Max's enthusiasm and determination. As Max dashed through the grass, Squeaky would nimbly jump from tree to tree, just out of Max's reach. Max, never, 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 the sight of Max flying through the air with his tongue lolling out became a regular occurrence in the neighborhood. The chase between Max and Squeaky quickly became a daily routine, both for the two main characters and the neighborhood audience. Every day, the stage would be set, and the show would begin. Max would eagerly wait by the back door, tail wagging furiously, as Squeaky scurried down from the trees, ready to taunt and tease. The comedic timing between Max and Squeaky was impeccable. Squeaky seemed to have an uncanny ability to sense when Max was about to make a move, and would playfully dart away at the last minute, leaving poor Max empty-handed. The expressions on Max's face ranged from confusion to frustration, and occasionally, pure joy when he managed to chase Squeaky just a little closer than usual. One would think that Max would eventually tire of this game, but quite the opposite happened. Max became even more determined to catch the lively squirrel, spending hours each day perfecting his strategy. He would hide behind behind behind. Unfortunately for Max, Squeaky always seemed to be one step ahead. The sight of Max repeatedly failing to catch the squirrel became a source of amusement for the neighborhood residents. They would gather in their backyards, sipping tea or coffee, and watch the lively events unfold. Children would giggle and cheer, urging Max on, while adults would chuckle and exchange stories about Max and Squeaky's ongoing rivalry. Despite the constant chase, Max and Squeaky developed a peculiar friendship of sorts. Many times, it was as if Squeaky understood that this daily game of chase brought immense joy and entertainment to both parties involved. Life in the backyard continued its harmonious routine, with Max and Squeaky as the stars of the show. They became a symbol of unity and entertainment, bringing people together through laughter and amusement. The husky and the squirrel taught the neighborhood residents the importance of finding happiness in the simplest of things and the joy of shared experiences. In the end, it doesn't matter if Max ever catches Squeaky or if their playful chase continues indefinitely. What matters is the connection they have created, the joy they have brought into each other's lives, and the memories etched forever in the hearts of those who have witnessed their comedy central in the backyard.